Hello. Um, I'm under a road. That would be a tunnel I'm currently under. I'm trying to create some kind of sci-fi effect, but it's not happening. There's quite a busy road above me. I wonder if I can prop my phone up. Because sometimes when I'm in this particular tunnel, oh, I'm balancing, balancing my phone on a wall. I still don't know whether or not there's going to be any facility to uh, shoot live stream, st uh, live stream, we're doing live stream, uh, landscape. Because if I could prop this up landscape, it'd be much safer and not look like it's about to fall. Right, it's there. Sometimes I can see that the live stream keeps dropping out, but I am in a tunnel under a very metal road. So that's probably what's happening. I wanted to see what would happen if I live streamed underground uh, with very, very little signal as to whether or not it buffered like other live streaming apps like Bambooza do. So if you can see this, ah, thank you for the feedback, Craig. So when there's very, very little bandwidth, it looks like the pixelatedness will uh, um, occur. So it's trickling out what it can. What does is, what is it sound like? Is the sound constant when the pixels are coming? And is the auto gain kicking in and out? So that would be kind of interesting to know as well. So many of the apps we use are bandwidth dependent. I've come a little bit closer, Reese, to the, uh, the end of the tunnel, but still, as you can see, the metal struts above my head are telling me that, um, I mean, there's so much road above me. Often when I'm walking down here and I'm streaming a, see, if this was landscape, you'd get more hand, look. As I'm walking down here, through the tunnel, all the way to the other end, um, phone calls drop out, uh, streaming podcasts drop out. This is the tunnel of doom. That's why I wanted to check whether or not I could stream from here. Let me know if you're going to Mojo. That's the Mobile Journalist Conference today. It's in Dublin. It's not too late to pay and get your ass there as well. I think there's going to be some learning and some drinking and there's some drinking and some learning. Well, that's all from me anyway. I've got to, um, oh, it sounds great when streaming. Thank you very much. You should hear it in real life. It sounds a little bit out of tune. Right, I'm going to walk through the tunnel till the signal goes and then it should come back at the end. Will the stream get picked up? Love, love me do. Be surprised if anybody is there right now, just a lot of pixels and craziness. But if I'm, yeah, I was lost again, but am I now found? Has the stream kicked back in? Now I'm at the other side of the tunnel. It's the only way to test low bandwidth. It's a sharp pick when there's no motion. Ah, okay, obviously because the amount of pixels that need to be made to make this the scene smooth. So what about this? Pretty sharp. I'd love to hear people's comparisons between this and Meerkat. That's the uh, test over for today. So, might be seeing you in Ireland later on. I'm sure there's gonna be loads of uh, notifications hitting people's phones saying, so-and-so streaming a potato, so-and-so streaming naked in the shower, so-and-so is doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I have to agree with the people commenting that the hearts are a little bit weird. The floaty hearts thing, We'll see if the button appears, enabling you to switch that off. The last thing you want to see is, I'm in Ferguson, there's chaos everywhere, there's bodies on the ground, and there's people madly clicking hearts, attempting to, uh, yeah, show you that they love the video of you filming bodies on the ground. If you can hear me over the road, I'll be very amazed. Uh, unless you didn't know, it's double click to return to normal viewing. Obviously I mean upright viewing still. So I'll see you guys later.
Take care, happy streaming. I'm gonna run through the pixelated tunnel. Stay on target. Stay on target.